Now everyone in here is in here for a reason. Every room has a purpose. What we all need to do is find out what those purposes are. If we do that, we're gonna walk out of here a lot richer in seven days. Take some time to understand your surroundings, and when you do, you need to call the operator. But this Henry kid, oh man, did you see his face when he realized how many players there were? Like a deer in headlights, obviously not the guy you want in such an important room. I feel bad for the other, so much money on the line, and that's the guy they picked to be in charge. Tough break. This is what they wanted, okay? They wanted you to panic, that's their plan. Oh, well, it's working. I mean, there's gotta be a reason for everything in here, right? What's in your room? I'm still working on that. Omar solved his room because of patience, right? Because he waited for the right moment? The proper time. Maybe we have to match the idea behind the room to the idea represented in the fortune. Henry, I think you might be right. It would be nice if the fortunes had like the lucky numbers on them or something. Can I you that? They do have numbers. Yeah. Are you watching this? Then what, what were the numbers? Oh, I don't know the numbers. Jesus, that's what we need. Guys, I don't think that was part of the game. What the hell is going on? No idea. It turns out the emergency phone isn't very helpful in an actual emergency. You think that was real? What, you think it wasn't? 48 hours, that's it? I wouldn't let it hit zero or you might not be able to talk to anyone again. Listen, uh, have you heard from anybody outside? Outside? Yeah, like, uh, one of the producers? No, I wouldn't unless there was an emergency. An earthquake isn't an emergency? A fake earthquake isn't. Uh, is that radio working still? That quake wasn't supposed to happen. I think something really bad happened out there. I had a direct line of communication with the producers at all times until the quake. I work for the show. I'm a plant. Now I have some food in my room, so I should be okay for a day or two, but you guys are running out soon, so... What are you talking about? We have plenty of food. Oh yeah. Go check. What the hell? What? They're bricks. What do you mean, bricks? Like... Brick bricks. It's not food? No, what is this? Too many fish, not enough food. Now I know you guys probably have a lot of questions. We only have 48 hours to beat this game, and the only way we can do that is if we all work together. Here's how we're going to do this. Ben is going to open up a fortune cookie and read a fortune. If you think it sounds like it might be about your room, then speak up. Every room has a point to it, so if you've done your job, you should have some idea. I think if we all work together, we can get through this in no time. Okay? That's it, that's the last fortune. But there's one more open tile. But there are no more rooms. We opened everyone else's, so this last box must be for you. Okay, let's think. We have no time. We've come this far, let's cross the finish line. We can still beat this game. There might not be a game. What does that mean? It means, I'm not sure if the game is still going. What? Is this about the earthquake? I have reason to believe that we're off the air. They're screwing with us, Henry. They have been since the beginning. And for what? Good TV? It's all part of the game, I promise you it is. And now I'm gonna prove it. Wait. Eric. I'm just giving them what they want. Eric! All of this is my fault. Let's not give up, okay? Room activated. Please enter the room number, followed by the access code. Zero. Room number accepted. It's a key! A, a key for what?
Henry. Oh! Are you Alex? You really think they're down there? I mean, where else could they have gone? Mm -hmm. I'd never jump in there. You might. If you were desperate enough. Alex. Something Henry, is not right. Hear this. No, listen. The rooms no, are wait, different. Wait, wait, wait. Tell colors... them what you told me. The colors... I said you're not the operator. What? You're not the operator. The operator's name is Justin. Look, this isn't the same vault. What? Look, in the qualifying round, I had to go up against another player. His name was Justin. There are two gifts. Each gift contains the same thing, more or less. So, two teams. Yeah. Red and blue. Well, the king said the final puzzle is about you, right? What your fortune should say. Yeah. So maybe if we figure out the difference between you and this Justin guy. Uh, we've been all over this place, and this is the only thing that's really different. I mean, the only important thing, anyway. But why? Well, you said I had to figure out my weakness, right? And why it's good? Well, this is the only thing that Justin has that I don't. A bird? No. Cage. Because what good is freedom if you don't do what you want with it? So, what do you want? I want to get out of here. This room has to be it. Thirty seconds remaining. Please confirm your selection. Are you sure? Michelle. Michelle, coming on the hour. Sorry I'm late. There's always something. No apologies. Not when you're running the hottest TV show in the world. Did you see the numbers? Yes, incredible. Off the charts, baby. Congratulations. Seriously, you guys deserve it. Well, we wouldn't be here without you and all the support your network's given us. <laughs> oh, stop it. I just turned it on. What's happening? Uh, red team is already solving rooms, just as we planned. Blue is just a little behind them. Everyone's where they should be. Great. America's really going to be pulling hard for the bluesers by the time this thing gets rolling. That's why it's so important that you keep it close until the last minute. That's the plan. The blue, blues win needs to feel organic. I mean, everybody loves an underdog. It'll position us perfectly for season two. Well, we have contingency plans if we get too far behind but I don't think we'll need them. Henry's capable. Well, the beauty of live TV is that anything can happen so long as we want it to. Right. Uh, anyway, did he, uh, he find the redhead yet? Uh, yes, Alex. She's on the line with him right now. Perfect. Perfect. We, we really got to push that hard, our little vault romance. Creative's already standing by to cut some promos with him. Our, our female numbers are a little low. Henry and Alex the entire third act once we release everyone else. We'll get there. Besides, Eric's the fan favourite right now. Eric? Yeah, newsroom. We didn't anticipate him being a major player, but, um, turns out he's pretty smart. Yeah, the news guy. We're already starting to get a little heat on that one. I guess uh, somebody dug up his past. Everybody on the internet is calling us cruel. Well, his twin brother did kill himself. It's called irony, idiots. That's the whole point. Anyway, outrage equals views. Huh. 
They're mad now. Just wait till they get to the balloon room. I thought that one was quite inspirational, actually. Ever the saleswoman. It doesn't matter. We're the bad guys in this story anyway. Poor, helpless college kids versus the evil, greedy corporation, right? Right. Love, hate, who gives a shit so long as they watch? And that brings us to our next big challenge. I don't want to just hold our audience. I want to make this thing even bigger. Everyone expects our numbers to fall off a cliff by the end of the week. But instead, we're going to shock the world. When do they figure out there's not enough food? Red team knows. Blue team hasn't quite figured it out yet. Didn't they get the whole fish thing? Not yet. Jesus, how obvious do we have to be? Well, we'll get our guy on the inside to drop a hint. Good. Uh, what else we got for today? Uh, power outage. Ooh, when's that? It depends on their progress. Probably in the next hour or two. Prime time. Good, good. We really need to sell that these kids are in danger. Like, uh, like when that, uh, that idiot uh, tightroped across the Grand Canyon. People tuned in to watch because they knew he might die. There's real tension there, and that's what we need. Well, the illusion of it, anyway. <laughs> oh, it'll be good. Trust me. Please confirm your selection. Are you sure? Three, two, one. Henry? I'm here. Did it work? What the hell? I, I, I think, I think we're... Take the radio. Okay, just wait here. Wait, wait, what? No, 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 don't leave me here. Just, just, just don't move, okay? I'm just going to make sure it's safe. S safe? Yeah, just, just trust me, okay? Okay. Okay. See if I can find the light. Okay. <sighs> oh, thank God.
can't say they aren't committed. What, what, who? The producers. I mean, this is obviously some sort of trick or something. Well, but we're out of the vault. Or are we? <laughs> They're just messing with us. They didn't think that you would bring this with you. And besides, it's... what was that? Yeah, we uh, land on the 9th. Uh, I'll have Stacy send over the itineraries. Okay, and you want to be in the room for the winner's reveal? <laughs> Depends who wins. All right, well, I better get back to work. I had a girl. Hey, listen, th remember that, that this is a great thing that you've got going here. Don't forget to enjoy it. I'll enjoy it when it's done. Ah, well, it'll all be over. <laughs> Hello? Duncan? Oh, come on. Can someone call IT? The landline's cutting out again. Morning. Yeah. Are you watching this? Uh -huh. So right? Okay, ready. Randall, we've been over this. There are some things I can't tell you. The last thing I need is you slipping and saying something wrong when they call. What? You just said that there were numbers on the fortunes. Okay, fine. Yes, he's right. But that's all you're getting. What does what mean? We'll be concerned. Took them two days just to... Guys, I don't think that was part of the- Hello? Hello, yes. I'm, I'm here, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, this is Henry, who is this? Henry, it's Randall. Uh, the plant. Randall, what the hell is going on? I, I don't know. The rooms opened up, let us all out, but no one was here. No producers, no crew, nothing. Something's wrong, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. God, I knew it. You said you were with the others? Yeah, in, in some sort of auditorium. Did you guys get out? Yeah, I'm with Alex right now. Cut it really close, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. Where are you now? <sighs> we, we, we found some offices. Anybody else up there with you? Producers? No, it, it's just us. Shit. Maybe they got out in time. Yeah. Any windows by you? Can you see anything outside? Um...
No. Nothing. It's too dark. Shit. Well, we're stuck in here. There's no way out. Maybe you guys can get outside and get help. No. Bree says we can't go outside. There's an emergency broadcast on our radio, and it's saying to stay inside. I don't think it's safe. Jesus. Is there any way we can get to you from here? I don't know. Maybe. I have no idea where we are. All right. Well, okay. Uh, we're going to try to get our bearings. There's got to be a map around here somewhere. If, if you can find the office, Michelle Stanton. She kept binders filled with crap about the show. Check there. Uh, hey, Randall, it, it's Alex. Uh, I, I was just wondering, are, um, are people from both vaults with you? Yeah, blue and red teams. A lot of people in here in no AC were frying. Is Eric there, New Sky? You guys don't have food? No. No water either. What about you? Um, well, we... Uh, we haven't found anything yet. Shit. We might need to get out of here soon then. Agreed. What are you doing? I don't think we should tell them about the food. Why not? There's not enough for everyone. They aren't fish, Henry. Henry? Yeah, one sec. I know, I just... I think we should be smart about this. Okay, we don't know when help is coming, if it's even coming at all. Alex, think about it. It's just a few bags of chips and some fruit. That's not enough for the both of us, let alone 300 people. Well, we have to do something. Let's just, let's just figure out where we are, and then we can worry about everything else. Anything? No. Look. Almost seven. AM or PM? Shouldn't we have seen the sun by now? Jesus. Yeah. What if it's everywhere? Our, our parents, everyone we left behind. Listen, uh, we, we can't do that right now. Okay. No, we can't panic. Okay, but what if... No, Alex. <sighs> We're alive. Hey, let's, let's just focus on that, and, and let's just focus on getting out of here. Find the map. Eric. <laughs> ben. Not smiling. Shocker. <laughs> Wait, the king's real name is Roy? Oh my god, look at the hair. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, 
That's him. It's Justin. Oh. Oh, overachiever. Yeah. Red vault material for sure. See, they're not just buttons on the wall. You know, they're people. You think I don't know that? No, I'm just saying... It's not a game anymore. Look, I, I don't know what you want me to do, okay? I, I looked everywhere. There's no more food, there's no water. This is, this is all there is. Like, even if we were to get it to them, so what? You heard the radio. We could be stuck in here for a long time and it's not gonna make any difference. Well, I don't want any more of it. You can have it. See, admit it, you feel guilty too. You know it's wrong. You know after everything we've been through, you know abandoning them is the wrong decision. I'm not abandoning yes, them. Yes, you are. I can't believe you. You're just gonna, you're just gonna sit here and let them die? I mean, is that what you're gonna do? That's not what I'm doing. Then what are you doing? I'm trying to protect you. on the map. So, it looks like this is us, and then Plaza Auditorium. I think that's where they are. And, uh, looks like the only way to get there is by going outside. Yep. So, that's it. it, looks like we're just as much as they are. <sighs> Yo, there's gotta be, there's gotta be some way to get around that. Oh, oh, um, I almost forgot. I'm sorry. Um, it's a piece of banana. Split it. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, are you really sorry or did, did you just want to eat again? <laughs> uh, a little bit of both. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was turning brown anyway, so. figured out why they picked me. Really? Why? <sighs> yeah, it doesn't matter.
Alex, you were right. We can't sit around and do nothing. The others are counting on us. Since there's no reason for both of us to put ourselves in danger, it's better that I go alone. I left you all the food and water. It should be enough to last you a while, so, so please use it wisely. Last night I told you I figured out why they chose me. All this time I thought it was just random, but it wasn't. In the qualifying rounds, they gave us a bonus puzzle. They called it the two gifts. Two boxes in a room and two contestants. Me and Justin. We didn't have to play, it was optional. They said we could each open one box and that if we chose right, we'd win $10,000. If we chose wrong, we'd be out of the competition. But it didn't make sense. They said both gifts contained the same thing. But if that were true, how could one be right and one be wrong? Justin decided it wasn't worth it and gave up. That was the safe decision. The smart decision. I knew that too, but I needed the money. And times have been tough for my family this year, and $10,000 could go a long way. I just couldn't figure it out, though. So I started to leave, but, but just before I got to the door, it hit me. It wasn't about which box you opened. It couldn't be. Both boxes contained the same exact thing. Instead, it was about when you opened them. In other words, whatever was inside the boxes had to change. From wrong to right. The only question was, how long would it take? So I waited. I waited for as long as I could. No food, no water. I slept to pass the time and to avoid going insane. At least a day passed. I wanted to give up so badly, but I didn't. Eventually I reached my limit and I went over to the box to open it. As soon as I touched it, they stopped me, said congratulations and handed me a check. That was it. I'd won. It's not that I knew the answer. I had no idea what was in the box. Not until last night, anyway. But it didn't matter. I knew what it would take to give myself a chance, and I was willing to go for it. And that's why they chose me. I'm going back into the vault. There's only one place we haven't gone. There could be a way out of here. Or it could lead to the others. Or it could be a dead end. Either way, I have to find out. The only problem is, I'm not sure I can come back. Don't worry, I'll be alright. I'll see you soon.